Hello, everybody. Welcome to Monday Morning Must Knows. My name is Merlin Rothfeld. Normally, we talk about three things for the upcoming trading week. I'm going to throw five of them at you. It is a very heavy week, especially coming on the heels of what we saw happen last week. We'll talk about that in just a second. Now, let's start things off with a very, very boring earnings announcement week. We have gone from over a thousand now to a couple hundred and here we are at 33 companies reporting this week. The only reason I'm doing this is because you have a couple really big names. For example, on Monday you can see we have Oracle. On Wednesday you have Lennar. You also have Adobe, Kroger, and Jabal Circuit on Thursday and that's pretty much it. So number one of our five is done. Now, on last week's Monday Morning Must Knows, we talked about the inflation numbers. Now, of course, the Fed has said we look at PCE core price index, which was several weeks ago. But you can't ignore consumer price index and PPI. And I made the point that if that Friday number for CPI comes out worse than expected, you could see tremendous volatility and lo and behold, boom, we got smacked in the face with a CPI number that went from 0.3 to 1%. That is a 7 tenths of 1% increase, which may not seem like a lot, but for inflation, it is. Why is it important? Because we've been told by our elected officials and our finance world, inflation's okay now. It's leveled out. It's actually starting to drop. No need to worry. Now, all of a sudden, it's like grab the popcorn because the show is starting up for the second half. Inflation numbers very high, and that puts the Fed in a corner. Now, why is that important? Because this week, we have the second half of that. There's twinsies. You've got Consumer Price Index, which was reported last Friday, and it was astonishingly high. This week, we have Producer Price Index, which is what it costs producers to make this basket of goods and services. That's Tuesday at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. As you can see on that hard right edge, we are currently at 0.5%. Now, that was a very sharp drop from the 1.4% we had the month prior. Now, if history is any indication and the Consumer Price Index numbers last week is any indication, we should probably see this PPI number spike sharply. My guess is you'll probably see it go over 1% to be in line with what happened with CPI last week. That again puts a lot of pressure on the Fed going forward with regards to interest rates, which brings us to another important topic, which is retail sales. Now this one isn't as critical, but if you are seeing higher inflation, you're seeing lots of slowing GDP data, this retail sales number, which has been climbing for the past three months, as you can see on the hard red edge, might start to dip down. And there's kind of a historical line I'll draw across the screen here. You know, we're just shy of kind of the, the peaks we saw back in 2018 and 19. If these inflation data numbers keep coming out as bad as anticipated, expect this retail sales number to start to decline and that could create some trading opportunities as well. Now the big stuff. This is where it really gets important. Because inflation is so critical, the Fed has been doing what they can to fight it. Earlier this year, we saw a 25 basis point increase in the Fed funds rate. Then we saw a 50 basis point increase. And expectations as of Thursday of last week were, were that we were going to see a 25 basis point increase in the Fed funds rate. Well, lo and behold, because of that CPI number that came out on Friday, there was only a, a, like a 2% chance that we would see a 75 basis point increase. Well, as of Friday, after that CPI announcement, that's now jumped to 17% chance. So there is all of a sudden a whole group of institutional investors thinking there is a growing chance of a 75 basis point increase in our Fed funds rate for next week. So let's take a look at that. You can see here the FOMC statement coming out. Right now, I'm keeping it up. 0.5% increase because the expectation right now shows about an 80% chance of a 50 basis point increase. It could go 75, but right now we'll stay at 50 basis points. That would increase our Fed funds rate up to 1.5% and that comes out Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's followed up by the most important part, which is the press conference. What is Jerome Powell going to say about this sudden spike in inflation? What does that picture look like and what's the Fed's roadmap going forward? But it's not just about the United States. It sounds so exciting because on Wednesday we have our Fed, which is certainly the dog that wags the global tail, right? But there are two other major central banks reporting as well. Now that's going to happen a little bit later on. As you can see, we start off with the SNB, the Swiss National Bank. That's going to be Thursday at 3.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for you night owls out there. There you go. They're expected to stay exactly where they're at, and that's negative 0.75. That's right. You keep your money in a bank in Switzerland, you're losing money, lose money. Uh, you pay for the right to deposit your cash there. In the Bank of England, though, they are doing something interesting. As of... Three days ago, it was expected to stay 
exactly the same with no real rate increase. I think I have a small typo here and I'll correct it as I go. But right now it's jumped to a 25 basis point increase expectation. That would jump this up to 1.25%, one and a quarter percent, which falls in line with what everybody is doing, right? You have Australia has been raising, New Zealand has been raising, Canada has been raising, you have the uh, American markets have been raising. And then you have two, they're saying, you know, three actually, they're saying, we're staying right where we're at. Japan staying at negative 0.1, Swiss National Bank staying at negative 0.75, and the European Union, which to me is a very precarious situation over there, staying at zero, and they say till 2024. If inflation keeps spiking, those that don't raise their rates are going to find themselves in a world of hurt. Now, bottom line is, there's a ton of information. Retail sales, we have PPI numbers coming out, we saw what CPI did last week, you have three central banks reporting this week, so it's going to be a very exciting and volatile week. Practice your risk management, and we'll see you guys next week.